Law enforcement leaders are telling people to keep an eye on their teens this summer, but if a teen commits a crime and gets out of jail, how would the public ever know? Queen City News reporter Will Lewis is live from Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Headquarters tonight. And Will, this past weekend's gun violence in Gastonia Mall is raising new questions tonight about protecting some, but maybe not others. Yeah, that's right, Brian, and not only in Gastonia, but here in Charlotte as well. CMPD Chief Johnny Jennings released a video last week, and it was released on the same day that a teen in Gastonia shot another teen. Now, we won't know that teen suspect's name in Gastonia unless the grand jury finds there's enough evidence to charge them as an adult. Law enforcement from Union County to Charlotte are dealing with a growing problem teens committing crimes and police asking for help. It takes every parent to know what your kids are doing, where they are, what they're carrying in their book bags, and it is incumbent upon every parent to be able to know what their children are saying and doing on social media. Even if all that is true, there are laws to protect juveniles, which may not protect the public. The Juvenile Justice Reinvestment Act, also known as the Raise the Age Law, raised the cutoff age for juveniles from 16 to 18 in North Carolina. As it relates to uh, students and, and violence and things of that nature, it's extremely tough. First and foremost, students have protections as it relates to their identities and things of that nature. So sometimes uh, law enforcement is very limited on what it can share. An example, the recent shooting at East Ridge Mall in Gastonia. A 17-year-old male shot and injured an 18-year-old male after a verbal altercation. A 24-year-old woman and a 42-year-old male were also injured. The name of the 17-year-old and photo of the teen was not released by police. Yeah. They said he is facing numerous felonies and the public may never know the identity unless the teen is charged as an adult. A decision up to the grand jury. Attorney and former CMPD officer Walter Bauer says there should be a little leeway in the law because people want to know who their children are hanging out with or if a teen in their neighborhood presents a danger. When a, uh, a juvenile commits a violent crime, I think the public has a right to know. I think uh, that those protections are a race when a person uh, does something that is a crime that is dangerous to life. In my opinion, uh, we should have a right to know who those individuals are just so we can continue to be uh, more aware. Now, just to be clear, there is no call or legislation right now to change the rage, raise the age law. But Jennings and Bowers do agree that parents need to know who their teens are hanging out with in person and online to help reduce these crimes. We're live in Uptown. Will Lewis, Queen City News.